18th of August, 2005, an elderly white-haired Englishman called Charles Jordan took his family to Dongti Island, Zhou Shan. When he saw some fishermen as old as him, he excitedly ran towards them and embraced them for a long time, thanking them the whole time. It's hard to imagine why old men from two different countries would meet on a small island in Zhou Shan, China. But what happened between them to cause such a moving scene? Hi everyone, I'm Tom and I'm from the UK. In the UK, I studied history and international politics. Nowadays, I teach English at Zhejiang University of Technology. When I was in the UK, I heard that 70 years ago, a very moving story occurred on Dongji Island. Upon hearing this, I immediately wanted to investigate, which is why I'm here today. The crew boarded the ferry to Dongji Island at Miaozufu Pier. The first stop was the Dongji History and Culture Museum, which archives a period of more than 70 years. The museum has two floors, the first of which is the Folk Customs Museum, which exhibits the tools used by the fishermen in the past. On the 2nd of October 1942, at 4 o'clock in the morning, a Japanese steamship called the Lisbon Maru was carrying over 1,800 British prisoners of war. Passing through the waters of Dongji Island, it was hit by a torpedo launched by the submarine Perch of the US Navy. Suddenly, seawater poured into the ship's cabin. The ship swayed from side to side, and the Japanese officers and soldiers on board panicked and fled. Three nautical miles from Tingbang Island, 122 degrees east, 30 degrees north. Here they sing, without wind, the waves are three feet high. With wind, the waves can go over a mountain. The Lisbon Maru is about to sink. The prisoners who can swim have jumped into the sea one after another. Those who can't swim are still struggling on the sinking ship. The Japanese have already taken away the life-saving equipment. They hope for someone to come from the sky to safely take them to the island. This little island has a nice tradition. As people's lives are so important, if a fishing boat had an accident, no matter who it is, everyone would choose to rush to the sea to help. Seeing the sinking of such a huge ship that day, the fishermen knew that there would be casualties. Members of each family rowed their fishing boats to the sea to save people. The fishing boats were very small. Most could only carry up to eight people, while the smaller boats could only carry four or five people. After looking at these pictures, I find it really hard to believe that there were people alive after the warship explosion. The fishermen of this village truly are incredible. In total, more than 380 British soldiers were saved with the rest sinking to the bottom of the sea. The Japanese saved most of their soldiers. The rescued British prisoners of war were taken care of by the fishermen of Dongji Island. They had no clothes to wear, so the fishermen got some from their homes. They had nothing to eat, so the fishermen, despite their difficulties, made them food. The fishermen of the island understood the spirit of international humanitarianism. In the end, these exhausted British prisoners spent a peaceful and comfortable night on Dongji Island. However, the next day, Japanese soldiers landed on the island and arrested all the British prisoners rescued by the fishermen. At that time, in 
in order to not affect the islanders. The British prisoners of war took the initiative to come out one after another and, to the people's reluctance, left the island with grateful eyes. But the fishermen still risked their lives to save three soldiers who they kept hidden in a secret cave on Qingbang Island for five days. Later, the three Britons passed through several safe areas before returning to the UK smoothly. This made the Lisbon Maru shipwreck incident and the heroic deeds of fishermen saving people on Dongji Island public, and made the British prisoners of war in Japan return to their motherland through various different ways. Today, we are on Dongji Island, the most eastern point of Zhejiang province. It is also the place which sees the sunrise first in the whole of China. This used to signal the start of the working day. The fishermen would go out to sea and the people that stayed on the island would go and plant or tend to their crops. Now, this signals the start of a tourist day as people go to spots such as this to see the first sunlight in China. 当时的话包括我外公在内的好多渔民都都参与那个这次救援反正有人落水,他们就会把他们救上来 I wasn't picked up by the fishermen It was the fishermen that coming out that saved our lives You know, it was because the Japs would have carried on shooting So that saved our lives Decades later, Charles Jordan, now an old man traveled across the world to come here to thank the people of Dongti Island who saved him. These emotions have remained unchanged for over half a century, moving us even today 